extra, extra, always extra here, man. Uh, read all about it. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading, Leo. It's all about you. This is an oracle card energy reading. So it's Leo energy. It's not a horoscope. Okay, so this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Leo influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes and energies. Um, you can even apply it outside, like if you're dealing with a Leo, you know. Um, there's always an extended. So there's a full tarot card spread that, that further articulates and goes into specifics and personalizes the energies that we pick up on in this oracle card reading. And it includes, bam, a romantic reading, a romance specific reading. And that link is in the, the uh, description box below. It's an extended reading in the description box below. Go over there, donate to the channel. That'd be awesome. <laughs> but, um, um, it's always available to you and I hope to see you there. Now there's no dates in this video because people don't care about the dates. So I stopped dating the videos. You know, you'll get the message when it's supposed to come to you, of course, but I do make a new Leo video every single week. So if you want them like hot off the press, please subscribe to the channel and then you can ring that bell and get all the notifications to be like, Leo, Leo, your information is here and uh, it'll come to you right away. So Leo, let's go. Let's find ourselves in this reading. Interesting. Watch out for people trying to attack you with words this week. I just saw the cards. No, they're not your main reading, but I would say watch out with people trying to get at you with words, come at you with words, accusations. Watch out for it. Now that doesn't mean it's gonna be your whole freaking week, right? Like that's what's gonna to happen to you and that's what that's what's making your week. No, but watch it. It could be what kind of irritates you or gets at you this week. Mm. Mm. Somebody trying to attack you. Mm. But then again, with bare energy, because that's the energy that I saw, Leo, sometimes it's just a matter of, it's attacking you for a reason. Like, I'm not trying to be accusatory. Like, what did you do? Or what What was it? Because you could have done something wrong without even knowing it. This is not, it doesn't mean that there's malice. It just means that there's a wrong that needs to be made right. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and like I said, clear out the clutter. Going back, sifting through, and knowing what you need to deal with and what you don't need to deal with anymore. Being willing and ready to release and let go of those things you've held onto for a very long time that don't serve you anymore. This is the energy of two plus eight, 10. 10 is completion, 10 is maturation and maturity. The frog is a, um, like mature Cancerian energy because just like a crab, it is a tidal creature. It always hangs out between like, you know, between the earth and the water because they can navigate both. And it's like that, that in-between creature, which is very Cancerian energy, very transitional energy of tra changing and growing and turning into something that is more malleable, more flexible, more capable of different kinds of things, as long as you let go of what you used to be. So this is not used to be, but like of stuff that's holding you down, right? You can't swim with weights, with, with, with like cement shoes on right? So you got to let it go. There's something that you're holding on to. There's some sort of energy. So like, ask the question. I just got that message, man. Ask the question. Ask the questions. Have the conversation. Let it come out. Don't hold it in. Be confront, confront, confront. And that could very well be what that bear and the parrot energy that I saw as I shuffled meant. It's like, you need to confront something that's been bugging you. you need to confront something that is almost like the words may be getting at you. They may be trying, they may seem like they're accusatory and trying to do you harm, but really they're actually alerting you to, to what you need to pay attention to. So it's actually a blessing in disguise. It's actually, it's actually a message from the skies that will not a blessing in disguise, a message from the skies to let you know what you need to confront that's holding you down because maybe something's been bothering you and you really haven't been able to put your hand on it. Put your foot, you like something, something, everything is pretty good in your life, but something is there that you haven't been able to, mm, and this is what's going to show you the way so that you can attack it and take care of it. 
So that's the energy that's crowning your reading, Leo. Ooh, what else we got for you today? Let's see. Learn from the past. Oh, damn. I just love the synchronicity, like the, like the togetherness of these cards. Like, you know how they all make sense. So this is two plus five, seven. Something that you've created. Maybe the life that you've created and worked very hard on because this is Taurus energy. This is, you know, stubbornness, but this is certainty and self-assuredness and belief in your future, but also belief in what you've built, building an institution or becoming an institution yourself, being strong and, and, and progressive. Um, but it's also um, based on stuff that you've gone through. It's based, it's, it, the strength has come from a place that was harrowing, right? The, 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 the strength has come from triumph over something that built you up to be this strong, you know? And it's, it's, it's a sense of once again, looking back and reviewing and what can you know? What can you learn? What can we learn? It's, I'm telling you, the answer to what's bothering you is in the past, is in something that happened in the past. Take a leap of faith, grasshopper spirit. Hmm. You're conscious, Jiminy Cricket. This is conscious. What is your conscience telling you? Did you, was, did you leap at something in the past and you feel guilty about it or um, did you leave somebody behind and you feel guilty about it? Or what is your conscience telling you? What is it telling you? Because your conscience, if you listen to your conscience, it's going to direct. This is like learn from your past. Something, the answer that you seek is in the past and your conscience is going to talk to you. It's going to tell you. Listen to it. It's a small voice. It is a quiet voice it is so easy to overlook that voice but the voice is there inside of you and it's talking to you every single day but make yourself better make yourself better make yourself better do the right thing do the right thing do the right thing there is something here from the past that needs to be uh rectified okay um, watch your words. Really interesting because it's, this is one of the cards that I saw as I was shuffling that, that, that generated the channeled message from me. Um, nine, something's coming out. Something, somebody's talking, right? If that's what it is, I'm, it's, I'm not getting that you're the one that needs to watch what you say. I'm getting, or maybe at one point you didn't watch what you said and you said something that really hurt somebody and you didn't realize that you planted the seed that made them sick. You didn't realize it. I don't think, see, I, I didn't pick up on malice, not intentional, something that you didn't even know. And because of it, it's almost like this is a karmic loop you've been stuck in. You didn't even know how you got here. You're like, what? You, you were not aware of the outcome of words on you or by you, but now you're going to come, you're going to realize it. It's, it's coming out. It's coming out. There was words spoken against one's consciousness, conscience, words, harsh words spoken that really fucked you up and messed you up and sent you in some sort of a karmic loop that you have to cure and you're going to be able to see it. And that's why this week is such a transitional, like beautiful week, because this is when you're going to see it, when it's going to come Oh my God. Ooh. And so much is going to clear up. Oh, what did we just say? Changes are happening. You can overcome any, you are getting over this huge obstacle. This is your central energy. You are getting over it through confidence and through love, through appreciation. This is a very hardcore energy, but gentle energy. It's a certain energy, but it's kind. Your kindness and your gentleness is going to get you through this circumstance. It's going to make you triumphant. You will overcome. You will overcome this karmic loop through kindness, through patience, and through um, sincerity. 
Trust in divine detours. What I say, this is Sagittarius energy. Your life has taken a huge turn and it's a beautiful turn. It's a turn that you could not have predicted until you come upon and take care of this circumstance. It's almost like you taking care of this circumstance is the key that unlocks a door that you never even knew was there. And all of a sudden a portal is wide open and your life is changing forever. You didn't even know it. It's like some Indiana Jones crazy sh it's craziness, but you didn't even know there was a door there until you took care of this. You removed, like, it's almost like you removed the medallion or you removed the, uh, the uh, obstruction and oh my God, there's a lever that you can now pull and the door opens. You didn't even know. And 10 to one, you were suffocating somehow. You were scared. You're like, why can't I get through this block? Bam, the block is coming out. The block is coming out because you took care of what was obstructing the device that was needed to move it. You see? Oh, I'm getting chills. This is some Indiana Jones shit. Groundhog spirit. Time to let go. Whatever was keeping you down or holding you down, whatever was gnawing at your heart, Leo, you're going to relinquish this week. It's going to be history. It's going to be confronted. The sadness, the tears, the crying, the pangs of, of, of pain as it rips off of you to be gone forever. Going. Going. Beautiful. Um, Life didn't start out beautiful, but it's going to end up that way. Think this is Libra energy, partnership, matured partnership, La Vie en Rose, love, romance coming into your life. The energy of six is a romantic energy. Love energy. Love, love, love coming into your life. This is whatever was moving, removing the obstruction. You could be finally seeing what was hurting or harming your relationship, getting in the way of you being able to have a relationship. And the obstruction that was getting in the way of you being able to share with somebody is removed. It's gone now. Um, if this is a long-term relationship, this is a you conversation that was had, com you know, you confronted each other. Check your romantic tarot. I included the link uh, early in this video. Check it because I think it has something to do with this. You're clearing it up. You're clearing it up to clear out the relationship or clear out room for a relationship. But this is also mature. Think of the swan, the ugly duckling. Remember that story? It's so cute. Um, things didn't start out pretty. They had to grow. So this could be a love that maybe somebody you hurt in the past, somebody that you upset in the past is now like the love of your life. The love has transformed. The portal has been opened and your hearts can finally connect. You can be, finally be honest with each other. It's like you've made room for them to love you and vice versa. Oh, oh, okay. Mm. Act as if, fake it till you make it, babies. Fake it till you make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is being able to finally drop the facade change somebody shape-shifting or changing change like chameleon but this to me right now is just life your life is changing it's shifting into another place it's shifting it's shifting into another modality changing how you look you could be making some major changes to your appearance like and like so that they're more sincere so you're dropping the facade spirit has a plan and destiny Spirit has always been directing you this way. It's all, it always been calling you this way. This is a benchmark. It was decided for you before you could decide for yourself. This is the baby Buddha belly. Just rub it the belly and be happy. Rub the belly. Um, follow in spirit. Follow spirit has a plan. This shows up when it's, it's, it's divinely ordained. That's what this card means. The timing of this. The purpose of this, the consciousness of this, it, uh, you were always meant for this. You're being called, you're being tapped. It's also a sense of peace. In other words, when this card shows up, it's a sense of knowing. No, I, I have to do this. Like that's what you'll feel. I have to do this. This is, this is, this is where I'm supposed to be. Even if it's weird, even if it's something that you didn't expect, you'll know. Um, 
awakening. Awakening to the truth and diving in without any question, just trusting. Wholehearted trusting the mystery. Think of the water in this card as representing the great uh, the great mystery. Something that you don't understand and you and Leo, you're like, I don't have to understand it. I'm not questioning spirit. I feel the call deep inside myself, inside my gut. The mystery is fading. The, the, the veil is dropping. It's something is being very clear to you. And so you have full confidence in just diving in. You don't need any more explanation. You're not requiring it. Oh, what I say? Gemini energy. Everything's starting to make sense. All sides and all aspects, all faces and all dynamics are coming out and exposing themselves and it's taking off. You are moving forward, Leo. This is resolution. Allowing yourself to have resolution to reconcile both sides, find an in-between, find a compromise and move forward. What I say, you open up the gates. More Libra energy. And I think this is Libra energy, just more love, more peace. So you have peace and love here. This is spirit. Spirit descending upon you, letting you know you've done the right thing, letting you know that, that hey, thank you so much. Thanking you for, uh, thank you for your participation. Like you are the deliverer of the divine. This is also balance and happiness and stability, a real sense of everything working out and finding a compromise. Think of Libra, the um, diplomat of the Zodiac, being able to find that balance between two sides so that, you know, the, the fighting stuff, this, you're definitely making peace with somebody. You're making amends. Or they're making amends with you. There is a great divinely guided reconciliation that's going to happen to you this week. That is going to open up. Opportunities that I don't even think you realize were there. Okay. Hold on. Because I'm going to flip the camera so you can see the cards. Whew, big time reading. It's also the crown configuration. Every once in a while, my readings turn into a crown. And this is one of those readings. And what that means is get ready to, get ready for your crown, Leo. Like you, like your head is always ready for the crown, right? But this is your crown readjusting. Adjusting that crown, it being polished, the tarnish being removed, and the crown being set. And your head being strong enough to carry it now. Right? Because there's a maturation here, a preparedness, a point where you couldn't have gotten to last week or even yesterday. A sense where it had to be today, but there's definitely a shift here. Lots of reconciliation, lots of choosing love, lots of taking responsibility for past hurts or sufferings that you have or you maybe have caused somebody else. Like I said, it's not malice. It's realization of how your behavior sort of started this domino effect that could have harmed somebody, but now it's like, oh, I get it. I, I didn't even realize that I knocked that over and caused that car. I didn't even realize. You didn't even know. Now that knowing is helping you to literally clear up a blockage that karma knew about, but you didn't. And I think that that's why you were bumping your ass around in the dark because you weren't even aware of it. A lot of times bad karma comes from intention, but sometimes it comes from shit we didn't even know was present. I'm not willing to say it's past life shit. I think it was something that you engaged in in this life, but you didn't know that it caused harm. And now that you realize it, you're fixing it. And you're, you're not even, you're not even going to question it. You're like, oh, once, once it come once it, the veil comes down and spirit points it out to you, be like, oh shit, spirit. I didn't even know you can fix that shit right away. And in doing so, 
Oh my God, the floodgates get open. Okay, we're going to go over to your extended reading. Please do join me. Let's see where the floodgates take us, Leo, and figure out what's happening with the romance. The extended link is down below. I'll see you over there. Bye, Leo.